Hello again and welcome to our next training movie. In the next step, we will start the linear analysis of all single load cases. With a double click on the task, Linear Analysis, we open this task. All load cases from the database are listed in this table and are pre-selected. Here you have the possibility to select single groups for the calculation. Deactivated groups will not be considered within the calculation. The group selection acts on all load cases you activated on the first tab. If you want to make a calculation with different load cases acting on varying groups, please insert the task linear analysis multiple times. The default settings on the tab, control parameters, should only be changed by advanced users of our software. In the system information dialog ASE was chosen for calculation. So, if you want to know more about these settings please have a look at the corresponding manual. Detailed information about the Sophistic T-Beam philosophy can be found in Chapter 2 of the ASE manual including an explanation about the theoretical principles of the program. Almost every task has a tab for text output, and one for, graphical output. We will give you some explanation here which holds for all other tasks as well. The text output is divided in chapters. With the combo boxes you can control the extent of the output for each chapter separately. Aside from the default output you can select no output, normal output, full output, or extensive output. The graphical output contains a ready-made list of standard graphics to choose from. The option, User Defined, view allows you to choose a position for your structure that will be used for all graphic output. If the option, Process Immediately, is checked the task will be calculated when leaving the dialog with the OK button. At the same time, the output reports are written. When calculating a task WinPS will be opened within the working area of SSD. Here all tasks are listed in the task tree. The current task linear analysis has two modules, first ASE for the calculation of the internal forces and the second one for the graphics. Open the report browser to read them and check your results. In Animator you can now choose a load case and see how the structure deforms and get a sense for its stress behavior. When the calculation of the single load cases is done you can start the superpositioning to generate the load cases for design. Here you can only assign the element types to the combination rules. The definition of the combination rules has to be done in advance in the corresponding task. Detailed information about the program can be found in the manual of Maxima. The functioning of the dialog was already explained when defining combinations. The box, Process Immediately, 
is checked. So let's start the calculation by pressing the OK button. In this movie, we showed you to start the linear analysis of single load cases. Based on that result we performed the superpositioning, to get the combined design forces and moments. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie.